Hey guys, so I just wanted to pop on this channel real quick to show you how I make my very own dividers for binders for school. Uh, recently, I had to start putting together my student teaching binder. I'm an early childhood education major, if you did not know that, and I'm in my last semester doing my student teaching, and it's a big portfolio that we have to put together. So it takes a lot of organization, and that includes different folders and dividers. And recently, I went to look for dividers, and I looked at Target, I looked at Dollar Tree, I look several places and they all seem to say that they are eight and a half by 11 inches which I thought nothing of because every other time I've gone to buy dividers they fit perfectly in my binder they stick out like they're supposed to however I went and did that this time thought I got a great deal at Target on some brought them home and they ended up being too small so I ended up returning those what ended up happening apparently was that they were too they were like the same size. I use a lot of these clear sheet protectors just because everything is put together really nicely and stays really, you know, doesn't get ripped and it's all, it's organized and it's a lot more professional. However, the dividers, they were like ending and wouldn't stick out. So they're not really dividers. They were just kind of in there. So instead of going crazy trying to find a better way to do this, I thought I can make my own. There's got to be some way I can make my own. And I was right. So basically what the first step is, is you go on just plain old Word on your, you know, PC or Mac, because now I have a MacBook, so it works on both, and just make a cover. So whatever the section is, like this section is host teacher evaluations monthly and bi-weekly. Um, that's where my, uh, the head teacher of the classroom has to, you know, review how I'm doing and, you know, evaluate me. But it doesn't really matter what your category is. You make a category. Now, this is how I set it up. You can make your cover photo or your cover page look however you want, however layout, whatever font, whatever colors. That's totally up to you. It's totally customizable, which is awesome too, because then it can reflect your personality or it can change depending on the subject or you know whatever you're using it for. So I ended up just doing I mean, it actually is supposed to be kind of a gradient effect. My printer, for some reason, is not doing it justice at all. It kind of just looks like a faded version of what I made on the computer. What I did was, it was like this orange, this darker bit at the top. It was like that, and then it had kind of an X white like faded ombre effect and it looked really cool of course that didn't print out however I'm just using this for now because if worse comes to worse this works um, so and then I just chose this font and I adjusted the size I put it in the center as best I could and then I liked this little black border just to kind of tie it all together so then I printed it out and then I put it in the sheet protector you can put you know something on the back if you would like or not that's up to you um, and then I needed the part to make the divider. So I was like, okay, there's got to be some way to do this. Let's go to the sticky note section. So I was in Target again because I just love Target for everything. So I went in there and I went to the post-it notes or the sticky notes section. I mean, they're technically not post-it notes because post-its a brand and they have tons of different, but that's besides the point. And I found these cool new things called um, file folder post-its and it was by the post-it brand for three dollars and nine cents I want to say you got a pack of 24 you get four different colors um, so six of each color and they're meant for you know the file folders that you may have um, you know in your filing cabinet they're meant to kind of be bold and stick out that's why they're bent this way but I thought that is perfect because not only is it going I just put it sideways and it's gonna stick out but it's really gonna stick out because it's bent like this it'll be perfect it's just like a real divider so and I thought, okay, it has enough different colors, too, where I can, you know, alternate the sections. So, that's how I ended up getting this right here. Now, I'll show you real quick. So, here's my binder. And as you can see, I have the different sections. Like, it takes a little patience to be able to, okay, this one's the first one. It goes on top. And then you have to flip to the other section and be able to put um you know it just a little bit down they're not perfect you know it is difficult to do but you get the gist of it to where look it's just 
it looks just like dividers and I'm going to keep using the four colors because I'm gonna have a lot more sections just you wait it's only February <laughs> But um, I'm just going to keep using them. I could go a little lower and then when it gets to the bottom, repeat, just like real dividers do. So I thought it was just a really cool makeshift way to make my own dividers. The cover pages look professional, bright, fun, colorful, perfect for an early childhood portfolio. And I purposely did make the cover letters. I don't know if you noticed this, but I purposely made them go with the post-it notes. So I have yellow. I have the orange I showed you. I have green and I have pink. Now you don't have to be that particular at all. That's just me wanting to kind of stick with the a plan and the dynamic and make it all look streamlined and really nice. Um, but it's totally up to you. It's totally customizable, which I really love. And it's easy. It takes only a few minutes. It's fun to do and it's it does it does what it needs to do. It gets the job done. So I just want to throw this out here for you guys if you guys are looking for, you know, something similar to do if you're having a similar problem with um, finding appropriate uh, dividers for your binder and all that kind of thing. So I hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments section how you guys are doing in college, what your major is, and um, how all that stuff is going because I know I'm personally really excited that I'm almost done, at least for now, but that's besides the point. Um, so... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if it was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.